guys I know, I know. It's not as good a hair day today, but it's chaos here. Bring you guys another video. Today I'm bringing you guys a great blitz. Shout out to my guy Henny Chulo, friend of mine. He's on he's on Mutt Xbox. If you guys play Mutt head to head, I guarantee you guys have ran into Henny Chulo. And I guarantee you guys have ran into this blitz. It's very very good. Um, check out the description for his Twitter. Uh, also, boys, it's gonna be a really long video, so I couldn't make it any shorter than was. I wanted to show you guys everything, so I'm gonna put timestamps for you guys. Uh, so the first time Sam's gonna be like the setup and audibling from 4-3 odd. Audibling from 4-3 odd isn't 100% necessary. You don't have to do it. Just something I might recommend. But I'll have that at first. Then we're gonna jump into gun doubles, which I just used to show against blitzes. Uh, it's got a tight end and a running back that can block, so it makes it really easy for me to show whether uh, not the blitz is working or not. So I'm gonna jump into that. Then we go into gun bunch uh, and show you guys the original setup against gun bunch, and then a little special tweak setup that I use at the end to show you guys something you could use against gun bunch as well. But this blitz is particularly really, really good against Bunch, man. It screams against Max Pro. It screams against Six Man. It screams really fast against nobody blocking. It's really, really, really good. And I recommend that you guys stick around for the whole video. It's going to be really informational. It's really going to help you guys. But if you want to skip around, I have the timestamps for you. And if you're a competitive player and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired of Bunch, 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 go check out the Bunch part of it. It super screams against it. Uh, make sure you guys watch the setup part of it as well. But if you guys want to skip around, that's cool with me. All I'm going to ask is, guys, please drop a like on this video for me. I would really appreciate it. It's a full scheme. I only was able to fit the six-man blitz into this part of it uh, because it was just so long. I couldn't make it any longer. But there's a three-man setup. There's a four-man setup. There's a five-man setup. I can give you guys all that. If we get 250 likes on this video, I will drop you guys the next piece of this with those three setups and give you guys a full scheme to put together, dude. I hope you guys are ready to get into this video. I'm excited. Let's jump into it. Let's get it. My bad, guys. I had to sell out for y'all real quick. Forgot to put this in the last section. If you guys don't already, make sure you guys check out the description for my eBooks. They're really, really, really good. They're up to date. Trip Tight End's probably the best offense in the game right now. And I give you guys everything of mine. So if you guys don't own it already, make sure you guys check that description for my eBooks. Defense also as well. It's got Big Nickel over G and 335 odd. But without further ado, now we're jumping into the video. Okay, boys. So, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna run this video with no face cam. Um, I just want to try to see the whole, the whole field and uh, show you guys a bunch of different setups. So I'm gonna put, as I said before, I'm gonna put timestamps uh, for all the different things. I'm gonna start with the six man, kind of work down from there. Uh, but it's a really really good blitz, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to how to get safeties at linebackers since it's gonna be out of four three under. I'm only going to show you guys that at the beginning, and then just for speed purposes and not keeping the video too long, I'm only, I'm just gonna do it out of four three under. But I do recommend doing it out of 4-3 odd and audibling over to 4-3 under. It's really quick and easy. It's just one extra step. Um, and it'll allow you to get safety to the linebacker as opposed to having linebackers there. Especially in Mutt, that makes a big difference. Now, I'm also going to be putting the setup in the description. It's not like most Madden 18 blitzes. So with most Madden 18 blitzes, like 3 through 5 dollar earlier in the year, crossfire, it's baseline, crash your line one way, maybe spread them. Blitz a couple guys and you get a guy free sometimes. Really easy blitz is real simple, real simplified. But this one's more like a little bit older Madden. So you're gonna shift your line, uh, shift your linebackers, move a guy a bit. Now it does sound like a little bit of much, but I promise you it's really quick and easy to set up. It just is a little bit different than the blitzes that you've seen this year. Now, lastly, my fan on my PS4 is going out of control. I don't know if you guys can really hear it. Uh, I'll look back at the end of the video and if it is, I'll put music and uh, kind of drown it out a little bit but hopefully it's not too bad i don't know what's going on with it today the fans just been out of control so let's jump into this now um should I, i'm just gonna call under seams at first start off with the six man well first i'm gonna start off with showing you guys how to set up so you can come out any play four three odd i'm just gonna call cover two man and all you're gonna do is audible and do left on the d-pad to get to four three under it's right here and it's gonna come out really easy now you're gonna, gonna want to come out and it flipped because you want to come out in your four three under flipped and we'll talk about that in a second, but it's really easy. Four three odd, audible left, bam, you're into four three under. Then you then you go baseline, get into your setup. Okay, so that's real simple, real easy. Now I'm gonna get into the blitz setup. It probably won't work properly this this time through because I'm gonna take a really long time setting it up, and I've already done a few steps. So after you make your audible, literally it takes two seconds of audible. Just audible left stick on the D pad, click your audible. That's real simple. Baseline and then baseline which is triangle, uh, triangle, and then you see left stick to the right, baseline, see in the bottom left-hand corner, 
and then it's uh, shift your line to the left, so L1, left stick to the left, you see it on the bottom left, left stick to the left to shift them. Then it's L1 again to crash them, uh, and then the crash them to the left is right stick to the left, okay? Then you're gonna shift your linebackers, which is R1, uh, left stick to the right, and I'm gonna walk you through all these steps in a second. Again, I'll make it easy. And then for easy purposes, I just do uh, R1, right sticks down to blitz all my linebackers. This is if you're sending six. Now, you're gonna wanna move this guy. Sometimes he's on a, uh, like a slanted, like kind of curved uh, angle, and sometimes he's on this straight. It, it, I think, I'm pretty sure it depends on if the tight end's on, this, uh, on his side or not. If the tight end's not on his side, he'll be on a curve. If he is on his side, he'll be on a straight. But either way, you're gonna wanna move him a few steps to the right, like kinda almost parallel to the tight end here, but also like just outside of this, uh, outside of this end for Reed. Now, in 4-3-R, the reason why you come out in 4-3-R is to get line, uh, safeties here. I did not put them. I just wanna show you guys how to do it. I'll do that in a second. But that's the setup right there. And I'm just gonna call timeout and show you guys the setup one more time. We'll get into the blitz screaming in a second. I just wanna show you guys the setup. Now, if you're in 4-3, Odd, um, the, la the safeties I would probably use, just use your fastest guys. Um, haven't actually looked at the Falcons because I've just been using their linebackers. Um, but we can go to the depth chart real quick. We'll go uncut you guys. You know, I know you guys like a little uncut version. So just jump into the safeties real quick. I do have the linemen and linebackers that I want you guys to use if you're not going to do the audible. But, I mean, I'd probably just use, yeah, I'd probably just use uh, Allen and Casey. The Falcons don't have the fastest, um, speed safeties, but they have really, really good linemen for this blitz. So whether you're in 4-3 under or you're in 4-3 odd, you're gonna set up the linemen the same way. On the left of screen, you want McKinley. He's one of their best pass rushers and he's uh, 86 speed, so he's very fast. So he's really, really good. Vic Beasley, not the best pass rusher, but it doesn't really matter. So at the left of screen DT, you want the fastest guy. He's 88 speed, so he works perfectly. The right of screen, this DT doesn't matter quite as much. Um, block uh, like power move and finesse move kind of matter a little bit I would I would guess but I personally like speed everywhere on my D-line so I just use speed here this is the least important spot then at Brooks Reed position you really just want a good pass rusher speed doesn't matter nearly as much he's not going to be coming free so you kind of just want a pass rusher here and Brooks Reed's probably their best pass rusher without too much speed now if you're going to just go straight from 4-3 under here's the linebackers I would use right right how they give it to you Campbell Deion Jones uh, and Olakun. Now, if you're going to use safeties, as I said, you can sub in Casey here. Um, you, want, you want your fastest guy out this outside linebacker spot. So Casey would be here, and then this would be your middle linebacker user. So you could probably just keep Deion Jones, honestly, if you're in regs. And then, uh, or you could have Olakun here, up to you. And then I would probably sub out um, Allen for probably pool, I guess, for now. And then put uh, put Allen here, so, sorry, Allen here, and then you're going to want to put Ola Kuhn or Deion Jones here, one or the other, right, so you can do that, and I'll just, I'll go through it one more time of how to go through the audible, and then from now on, I'm just going to come out in 4-3, so, now, I told you guys it's really, really quick and easy to set up, I forgot to come out in the flipped, my mistake, <laughs> I have to call time out here, I didn't come out in a flip. That's important. If you're going to come out in 4-3 odd, you got to come out in 4-3 odd flipped as well because you're coming out in 4-3 under flipped. Yeah, sorry about that. I didn't come out in flipped. So come out in a flipped because you want to come out of your 4-3 under flipped. And then it's real simple. And you're already set up. So now you just move this guy over. Just a tad. Just like right outside the end. Real perfect. And then you're gonna hover about right here, okay? So that's the setup from 4-3-odd. From you guys see how quick it was? That's all I wanted to show you guys from 4-3-odd. Now, all we're gonna do is go through, the, go through the blitz setup and I'm gonna get you guys to see that it starts working, okay? I'm just gonna decline this penalty and we can jump into it. I'm sorry for all that intro stuff, guys. I felt it was important, um, so I did it that way. But now we can really start jumping into it and I can show you guys the real setup. So, Sam will blitz, come out and it flipped. You base a line, shift your line to the left, crash left, shift your linebackers right, and then I just universally blitz them with R1 right stick down. Now every once in a while if you set it up slow, as I said, this guy won't go into position. If he does, just move him out, 
just move him like a tick off and he'll go back into the position he's supposed to be but as i said if you set it up really slow it doesn't always work properly um but you're gonna see here i'm gonna i'm gonna send five out now it's gonna scream no matter what i'm sending six versus five what i want you to see here is that it's gonna be clean and then i'm gonna tell you guys that as they blitz more people honestly the better the blitz is because it gets a little congested when there's six versus five they start running into each other just a tad the linebacker is going to come in clean from the outside on the right usually but it gets a little congested on the left now the more people they block the more it's going to come in free and i'm going to show you guys as the video goes on but uh see there we get our two guys free right so six versus five of course it's going to scream but you guys see how quick and clean it is now just going to keep running it and we're going to keep setting it up Real quick and easy. You see he goes into position this time, move the guy over a bit, and you're good to go. Just wanna hover this gap. Um, I am getting blocked a little bit. You don't need to do that. Um, just because I'm using two controllers and it's throwing me off just a bit, but you don't have to do that. Now, you guys see we got three free here. I'll go to the replay real quick. This is what happens with the blitz. So I'm gonna show you guys why this blitz works so well. You get a stunt like from Big Nickel over G and 4-3 normal from here with him looping around. So he'll come in free a lot. And to be honest, like you can see here, he actually kind of just gets stuck. He, he probably is coming free. Yeah, so he, he just kind of locks himself into a block, but that's actually rare. Then you have this linebacker who's typically going to come in free as well on like a little bit of a loop angle. And uh, then sometimes you'll get disengages from this guy. That's why... That's why uh, speed's the most important for everything. And this guy's like one guy who's almost never going to come in free. But that's why you just want him to be have like good finesse move because let him try to beat that guy. Lastly, you have this linebacker that comes around this edge. Moving him out just a little bit usually puts him in a perfect angle to come through. Now, I'm going to block the running back, show you guys six versus six. After, I'll cut here and I'll, I'll run come in and we'll, we'll pick it back up. Okay, now we're going to do the six man. So... I'm on the same well blitz. Move this guy out of touch. Right about here. Now we're gonna block the running back. And you guys are gonna still see this on the screen. Now we actually got two guys free there. McKinley tripped up a little bit, but I'm gonna show you guys how he was coming in free. Now we got that outside loop that I was talking about before. So Beasley comes in free around the edge. He got tripped a little bit, but on this stunt, if you guys have been playing Madden 19, they're never really even seen by the line half the time as well. As right here, we get a disengage because of Vic Beasley and this linebacker right here kind of messing around with this left guard and just lets the guy through. So we get two free, first block one. I'm telling you guys, I'm just gonna continue to progress. I'm gonna keep blocking more people. I'm gonna keep uh, showing you guys that this blitz gonna come in. Move this guy over, just a tad, right there. Now, every once in a while, like I said, if you set it up slow, the guy would just sit there, I don't know why. All you have to do is touch him, he'll move right back out. I don't know why he does that, but rather annoying to be honest with you, but that's just the way the game is sometimes. Now, this guy was coming in free, he got tripped up, but that'll happen sometimes. Uh, I can go to the replay and show you guys that. I'm not gonna go to the replay every single time, but it's just nice to show you guys why something's working and why it didn't work on a given play. Uh, you can see here, Vic Beasley is never blocked. So we're just gonna watch it from this angle. He's literally never touched until right there. He just gets tripped going through the gap. If this guy got more outside the way he was supposed to, he would have looped in easily, but sometimes you get tripped up. So I'm gonna keep showing you guys this. Um, now I'm gonna show you guys versus Max Pro. Okay guys, sorry I accidentally cut and then I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so it skipped around a little bit, but we're gonna what we were working on was Max Pro and I was showing you guys how consistent it is against it. And honestly, it's probably the most consistent blitz in the game against Max Pro with just six men. Obviously, five two is gonna be consistent, but you're sending seven. Um it's a really good blitz. I wouldn't worry about having to touch Devondre Campbell. I'm not sure why he keeps making me touch him today. It's probably formation specific, but trust me, I've used the blitz and it doesn't happen very often. But we're gonna use Max Pro. You're gonna see here, 
great. The quarter ended. But what I was saying to you was, you're going to see that it actually really is super consistent. And it's going to come in very, very often for you. Um, and you're going to want to use it against... Uh, you're going to want to use... I think you're really, really going to want to use this Blitz. Just because there aren't really many Blitzes that are 6-man and consistent. Like 5-2, you have to send 7. 3-5 three, three, comes in sometimes. Nickel Normal is good against some things. Sucks against others. So... This really is the first blitz that I've seen that's actually good against a lot of things. And you're going to see that here. Um, obviously, Max Pro will pick it up every once in a while, but it's rather rare. Um, and when it uh, when it doesn't come in, it's usually going to get a quick block shed. Now, you're going to see here it came in, but it really, it really was coming in free. It was getting blocked, but you'll see. You'll see. So, like right here. We have like three different disengages happening, and uh, it ends up it ends up getting the guy tripped over. But you're getting so much pressure, and you're in the face of the quarterback. You're not going to be able to roll out very easily either. It's a very, very, very consistent blitz. So set it up again here. Move this guy out. You can see I don't know why DeAndre Campbell has to be touched sometimes, and sometimes he doesn't. It's really weird. Max Pro, and you guys can see we were getting two guys free. Easy sack. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna get this first down by uh, run committing, and I'll cut here, and then we'll uh, we'll pick it back up with a flip Max Pro, and then we'll work our way back down with the tight end and running back on the other side, and then we'll we'll probably jump in a bunch after that. Okay, guys, so we left off with Max Pro on the left. Now I honestly feel like it's a little bit more consistent when they Max Pro on the left as opposed to the right. And I think that's a good thing. Um, now, as I said before, if, if the tight end is on this guy's side, his angle is going to go inside. Uh, but you still want to move him out regardless. Now, I'm kind of inching him out there just to show you guys that it flips. But when you're in game, you can just literally move him out there. Just like get him out there, let him sit on this angle, and you're, you're good to go pretty much. So it's going to max pro here. I'm going to show you guys how consistent this blitz is. And uh, you see... Linebacker comes in free. Now, that's what I honestly personally think happens the most from this blitz when they do the tight end and the running back on the on the right because I think that I think that they just tackle and the and the guard get confused. And so I'm just gonna move Ola Kuhn out there again. Might have moved a bit too far this time, not sure. Um, might have messed that up, but should be fine. Max Pro again. And I, uh, we end up getting the um, the loop free as well. We end up getting a block shed and a loop free. So I'll go to the replay and show you guys that. And then we'll run it one more time. And then I'm going to show you guys bunch. So it works against bunch as well. But I also found feel like I found something that works also kind of well against bunch as well. There's a little bit of a variation. So DeAndre Campbell comes in free here. He comes in untouched. Um, and he was about to get a sack. But Vic Beasley ends up getting a, a block shed. Or Ola Kuhn gets a block shed. Excuse me. And comes right in so we ended up getting like one and a half free i guess you could say there um but i'll run it one more time for you guys versus this and then we'll we'll work our way backwards okay now you're gonna max pro and you're gonna see that this blitz is gonna come in just kidding <laughs> it didn't we'll do it one more time uh, like I said, it's Max Pro, so it's not going to come in literally every single time. Um, it's 7 versus 6, but it's probably the most consistent that I've seen. So we'll run it one more time here. Not really sure how these guys are tired. Not even doing anything. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Move this guy out. And you're all set. So as you guys can see, it's actually really easy and quick to set up. I know it seemed like a decent amount of steps early on, but it actually gets set up really, really quickly. And uh, right there, we were actually getting a guy free. He ends up getting tripped up at the last second, but very quick and easy sack. Um, we'll just go to the replay. This guy was very, very close to coming off the edge. Um, ends up getting tripped up, but this is not, I wouldn't even consider this a block. Like when he gets to him, He's really already on his shoulder. That's never, ever going to get stay blocked. So, And then as well, we have Vic Beasley on his stunt getting to a really, really good spot. Um, 
that allows him to block shit as well. So, as you can see, rather consistent against seven. Um, no, it doesn't literally sack the quarterback like this every single time. That'd be the best blitz in the game by far. But this one's really, really consistent for me, I personally think. And now I'm going to show you guys Bunch. So I'm going to show you guys uh, the normal way against Bunch first. Just come out and uh, play with a running back blocks. 5-1-8 hook. It's perfect. Um, this, this is a good formation to have a tight end and the running back on the side. Uh, on different sides, I mean. So you can see that they can pick up evenly on both sides. But it's going to do well against it still. Um, just like everything else. So you're going to want to move this guy over. Uh, right about here, just like always. And you're going to hold your gap. So the running back's already blocking on this play. So I'm just going to run it. And then we'll, we'll show you guys Max Pro. And we'll show you guys a couple different things for his bunch. So um, right there. Vic Beasley was coming in free the entire time on his loop. And we ended up getting a sack from Ola Kuhn off the edge. But Vic Beasley was coming in free as well. As you can see here. He's not even getting blocked. This isn't a block. This is him tripping. You can see the, the 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 lineman's not even in a block, and he comes in free. So, you guys have seen. If you guys have played big nickel, you played four three normal. You know that's free. Um, do it again here. Hold your gap, and we're good to go. Right there, Vic Beasley came in free as well. I mean, uh, Olakun came in free as well. Go back to the replay again. But you guys are seeing how consistent this thing is, dude. Um, very, very difficult to block. But you see here, Vic Beasley comes in free off his loop. Like, it's the same exact thing. He's not getting blocked. He's literally just tripping on the guy. Um, and you can see here, Olakun just gets stuck. He's not getting blocked either. See, so never, never in a block, never in a block, comes in free. So we actually got two free there. They just both happened to trip. Um, but it's about the best you can do. <laughs> so last time here, and then we'll go into Max Pro Bunch, and then we'll go uh, to my special little setup that I have against Bunch that I kind of like, um, that I kind of found on my own based off his variation. Right there, perfectly clean, comes in, sack. So you guys get it. Very, very good. Um, now, I'm just going to cut here, and I'll, I'll get this first down, and then we'll, we'll look at the special setup and the Max Pro. Okay, we're just going to do Max Pro Bunch now, and then I'll show you guys my special setup that I think is pretty good. Move the guy out a little bit. Max Pro. See we're blocking everybody. And here we go. Get a guy free. Go again. I mean, this thing works, guys. I'm telling you. I mean, it works. Um... I wouldn't give you guys something that I didn't think worked. And I really think it could be helpful for you guys. So, go to Max Pro here. Now, we actually got another guy free again. I'm going to show you guys in the replay here. The disengages in this defense is really, really good and super annoying for the offense. Um, and it caused a lot of trouble. So, you're going to see this here. Um, Vic Beasley's coming in free because he's on his loop. He's just tripping, just tripping, just tripping. And then we have this guy, like I said before, creating a disengage with the McKinley. So um, the running back, who probably should just pick up uh, McKinley right here, instead, instead, um, <laughs> instead he picks up Campbell and McKinley comes in and sacks him. So... Like I said, the defense is really good. And then Vic Beasley was coming in free the whole time. He was just tripping, just like the loop does a lot of the time. I wouldn't say a lot of the time. I'd say like about 50%. <laughs> this guy out of touch. 
I'm good to go. All right, last Max Pro setup here, and then we'll we'll move on to the final setup that I like. I mean, guys, the Blitz screams. It's good. It's really good. So last thing here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut here, and then we're gonna um, we'll get to the uh, special setup. So. Okay, now, so, against Bunch, something I didn't kind of notice was pretty good um, that you might want to mix in is not shifting your linebackers the exact same setup, except just not shifting your linebackers. So I'll show you guys that now. Literally, the only step difference is not shifting your linebackers to the right. So you're going to see um, Campbell's going to stay on that outside. Now watch here and just kind of see how, like, it, it screams kind of fast. I'm not going to lie. So... We got two free right there and I'm gonna show you why I don't I think it it I'm sure it's not specific to bunch I feel like it's if the running backs on the left and there's no tight end over there but this is what I saw happen a ton this linebacker gets taken by the running back because because of the loop and then the loop just comes smack in free that's what I saw a lot of the time and then obviously you still have the exact same linebacker uh, rush angle from the outside here that's gonna come in free a lot of the time but that's something I thought was good against running back to the left, no tight end on that side. But what comes to mind when I think about that is bunch. So it's just something that I, I noticed by accident because I forgot to shift my linebackers one time and I hiked it too soon. But yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Now, obviously, the, the other one's very, very consistent as well. So if you just want to stick with that, that's cool too. But that's just something I noticed um, as the linebacker was coming in free and the loop again. Um... You guys can do that. I'll show you guys against Max Pro. I do think the other way is more consistent against Max Pro. However, I mean, this way is pretty good. So, but just something I noticed against running backs versus anything else, you want to do the shift linebackers thing one million percent. Um, we're showing Max Pro here. And you can see it didn't come in perfectly right there. The linebacker didn't come in the way he did before. Just fine. Um, like I said, I think the Max Pro version, the other, the shift linebacker is better. Um, if I know they're gonna Max Pro, but this is just something. If I, if they're, they're only blocking the running back a lot, I'll probably, I would probably mix in. Either way, very quick and easy setup. Um, it's Max Pro here, and we're all good. And you can see. Vic Beasley gets pretty much in the running in the quarterback's face. However, uh, it's not it's not quite as good against Max Pro as it was before. It's just so basically versus six man, it's a little bit quicker if their running backs on that same side. But against Max Pro, it's not going to work. Is correct. So hope you guys enjoyed, man. There's a lot of lot of content in here. I hope you guys stuck with me the whole way. It's very 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 good. Um, but you did if you liked it man like comment subscribe let me know what i could do better let me know if you guys are going to use it take it easy man peace